So the latest version of Evolution X OS Custom ROM is here. The version which we are talking about here in this video is version 7.8 based on Android 13. New update is here with the April security patch and a lot more new things. We'll talk about all of those things in this video. So stay tuned and make sure to watch this video till the end. You can see Evolution X OS version 7.8 and we are having the April security patch. Apple security patch and I'm using the official version. It's officially available for many devices, many supported devices. Link for all of those is already available in the description. Or if it is not officially available for your device, you can go and check out if it is unofficially available. Check out on XTA or Telegram groups or channels. It's totally up to you. Let's quickly move on to the things which are included in this version, the changes and everything else. Firstly, if we move on to the network and internet options, you will see the connectivity check option is included. As far as I know, it was not there previously according to the change log and you can see this option was kind of present in Pixel OS and Pixel Experience and some of the Pixel based custom rooms already and Evolution X OS is now bringing you. Second change which I found which is one of the major changes actually is screen recording has the option called skip timer which means you can simply remove that 3 second wait and as you can see when you, when you click on start screen recording it will be started instantly instead of that 3 second timer and this is very useful in some cases I mean if you click on screen recording enable sometimes of course most of the times you will see 3 second timer 3, 2, 1 and then it was, it was going to start but right now you can simply Simply disable this option and this is one of the useful things which is included in Evolution XOS version 7.8 latest version which we are talking about. Another change I found here is the quick settings layout customizations. Now you can customize these things. Customizations means you can modify some things. You can hide the labels if you want to. You can use the vertical layout option if you want to. To be very honest, I don't use these features much but it was included in the change log so I thought I should share with you these things. We have some general customizations and as you can see the data usage option is also present and some things which were kind of expected are already included in this latest version. So this was about the quick settings customizations which I found and if I move on to another option you can see the data usage is there of course but if you click here you will be able to launch this data usage option available in settings and according to the change log of course it was it is present here but I don't know if it was available previously or not but it's here. We actually love this thing and if you see if you use data usage option I think so you will love this thing too because you will be able to see how much data you have consumed so far. If I move on to the miscellaneous option and one of the things which a lot of users were demanding is the unlimited photo storage. Spoof your device as Pixel Excel for the Google Photos app only to provide unlimited storage for backup. They told that they will not bring that previously then they now they are bringing you but yes the only thing is it's now turned off by default. Previously it was turned on by default you had to turn it off but right now it's already turned off so if you need that you need to enable this thing from settings but that's completely fine. If we move on to security options, app lock is now again implemented so it looks amazing but one major thing, one major thing why I'm talking about this app lock is if I move on to this option protected apps, you will see we have every app available including the system app so this looks amazing. I tried some app lockers in some custom homes like we have a Pixel OS, we have other custom homes which are, which are already having these app locker facilities but they don't give you the facility to lock the system apps so that's amazing that in Evolution X OS you can even lock the system apps. You also have the option to hide those apps so hidden apps and that protected apps feature is now finally implemented even the Pixel launcher is implemented here. So yes, this looks amazing. You will definitely love these things. If you if you hide some apps on your device, then you need these things. If you lock some apps on a device, including some system apps, some uh, some custom homes doesn't allow you to do so. But Evolution X OS with the latest version, they are bringing you something really useful. Also, if I move on to the app info at the bottom, you will be able to see versions are there. We have extra information, target SDK, minimum SDK, when this app was installed, exact time, as you can see, exact date and exact time. So this is also quite useful in some cases. And I found this thing in this new version. So that's why I'm sharing this with you. 
Also in this version, you will see the Smart Pixels feature is also included. Smart Pixels, um, actually I'm not sure if you use this thing or not, which simply shuts off the pixels to reduce the power consumption, maybe to save the battery, I don't know, but I hadn't tried it ever in my device, I don't know. If you use this feature, make sure to comment below. I will see if I try to cover this thing in the next upcoming videos about this particular topic. The Evolver, all these customizations which you need are already included. In the previous update with the March security patch, they gave you that, that security patch update after a long time, but they actually removed some features. But with the April security patch, a lot of things are now back. For example, if you move on to the lock screen clock fonts option, you will be able to see there are many lock screen clock fonts options are present here for you. If you use lock screen clock customization, if you use these things, options are here for you. Some of the clock fonts are actually doesn't look that good at all. Example, this one, I actually don't like this thing. But some of the fonts are super good. For example, this Museo Moderno and uh, okay, this is how the UI is looking like. We have many options available and as far as I know in the previous updates, locks and clock were there but uh, these are actually more than enough. We have some theming options as expectedly where you have the option to enable the tint background. Some dark theme related options are also present, some fonts which you can customize and also in the font section which I found, at the bottom you can see approximately 10 styles of fonts are extra i mean these were not available previously i think so and uh, these are now included you have just sans uh, circular standard circular standard is one of the fonts which i used a lot and it's included in this latest version also navigation bar styles as expectedly customizations are available here for you some developer options which means some miscellaneous options we have window secure flags enable option which is kind of expected game space is already included we have the options related to cpu info and a lot more things as things which were available previously too and the game space is actually not having any major changes it's almost same like the previous 5 to 10 updates so i don't think so need to show you anything else about this game space but it looks good if you want to try it out you can if you play games i think so you already know about this game space including that all these things are just super good and if i move on to the battery options you will be able to see the battery usage option we have the option to see the battery usage like pixel style or the normal AOSP style. So that's good. All these things are optional for you. Smart charging, adaptive preferences, and these options are super good. I use smart charging sometimes and this is one of my favorite features right now. It's quite useful. And the new thing which was introduced with Evolution X version 7.7, .7, those shortcuts are at least here. I mean, in the Google's latest Android 14's beta one update, they removed some of the features, but it's good that Evolution X OS is still implementing this and OTA is also there. Links are already available in the description. Thanks for watching and I will see you next one. Goodbye.